Welcome back to Generations. We are so glad that you are here with us and you're joining my sisters, Debbie and Angie. They're back. They're yes. back by popular demand. They're back. Thank you. Welcome back, Thank Ashley. You. Thank you. And uh, we're excited about today's show. Um, we're titling it Passing It On. So before we get started, we're going to give you a chance to call your friends, call your family, call your neighbors, um, and, and tell them to join in and to watch today. We know you're going to be blessed by today's show. So, ladies, mm. what have you guys been up to? Ah, since the last time, time. Man, yeah. yeah, watching, watching you, generation. oh, watching generations, oh, watching generations, good, good, this is the place to be. Absolutely. You got a lot of wisdom up in here. <laughs> good answer, good, good answer. Lots right. of wisdom. The, the last Lots. show we had, Ashley couldn't recover from laughing, right? Because <laughs> Angie, Angie, she's not wearing them today. No, right. she took no Invisalign. Invisalign out. Control. Nothing's gonna hold her back. Beautiful yeah, smile. Have they worked that quick? Thank you. Absolutely. Are they working? It's good. <laughs> yes. They seem cool. to be working. They are working. Well, Absolutely. cool, cool, cool. And Debbie, you gave a great celebration for your oh, husband's yes. birthday. It's so fun, man. Yes. Half a century. Yes. Yeah, he turned 50 Absolutely. and you sang. It was great. We had a, we had a great time this past weekend. Yeah. And his 50th gala. So thank everybody for coming and making it great. So. It was really, really mm -hmm. great. I was awesome. talking to her. Her hair is so cute. It's really wavy and yeah, curly. You know, natural it's wave. Natural. Natural. She said you know, it's always been that way. So, yeah, no, not that. <laughs> yes, it has. They don't no, know me. Not, they don't so know we me. grew up with her and we didn't know she had wigs. Exactly. Yeah, that's how much they didn't pay me no attention. Oh, you yeah. have the baby. My hair is so. very curly. Oh. It's very, very, you Ours know, is curly like too. Indian yeah. waves. Oh, more Indian waves. <laughs> a little tighter, I think. Absolutely. You know, but it's great. I didn't want to show it, so I just threw it up. It's a little so. tighter. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> today is about generations and why we yes. why we're doing this show. Yes. And it's very and important. why it's important mm -hmm. that um, we we understand the value of each generation, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And and so we have to always start at the beginning with us, you know. We right. grew up in the church. What are some of your your favorite church memories growing up in church? <laughs> well, first of all, we were there all day. Right. Yeah. You know, all that's day, memories. All day, yes. all week. We were there all day. All on day, Sunday. all week. So right? it's very different these days. It's like we're out of church already. Uh, <laughs> so all I knew growing up was that church. I mean, life was what we did quickly. But church is what we did yeah, as we lived good. in church. And right. You quickly go to the grocery store mm -hmm. or you quickly get <laughs> out of school. school. Right. Right. You know, but uh, yeah, your lives were, yes. our lives were surrounded by, by sure. church. Sure. Where nowadays, a lot of times we just, life, we do we life and we church throw church in. in. Yes. Ooh. Very different. Ooh. Interesting. Very different. So okay. that is a, that is a, huge. that is a huge memory and mm -hmm. an well, important Well, you're right one. because normally we, we're, uh, it's a shut in. Yeah. Oh yeah, we would say so all night. So my fondest memory would be shut in. Shut in. Yeah. We were there all night. All night. All night. Yeah. All night. Yeah. All night. We, I, we actually kids. went to school from from church from a shut in. Absolutely. Yeah. So wow. I mean that that's how we grew up. So yeah. this is very different. Sometimes I wonder what all this time we have left. You know, like yeah. What do I do with what it? What I but, do. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and for me, the same thing. And not, we were fasting. Oh, yeah, we were fasting. Shut for, in. I don't know if fasting was our favorite meal. I'm just saying. I, I, I like but that. Yeah. it was very important. <laughs> it was very important. Not a fun Three days. We were, Cause they, they'll tell you put a mint in your mouth, fasting. and we would put nihilators now. Nihilators. Yes, candy. Right. candy. Right. 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 Exactly. People don't even know about nihilators now. Exactly. Yeah. But but <laughs> mine so was we, mine I'm was sorry having fun. Up. But we were we we were taught how to to kill self at an early age. Yeah. 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 Very. Right. Well, that's why we didn't even know That's why we, we were. couldn't eat. You know. Right. Three days. And how young were you guys? What was like the earliest you started fasting? Like no food or water. I mean, mom and Jimmy. I, like I think our, I think our dogs six. and cats were on the fast. Yeah, too. No, yeah. Well, Everybody was on the fast. You should start. Know how early. Quiet. You should start. I don't know how early. I'm gonna we say y'all were infants. infants. No, 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 we, no, we were not infants. Not but, but we were toddlers. Yeah. 
Like school age? No, definitely no. school. Seven ish? Definitely school age. Toddler not and toddler. seven. Not toddler. Not five years old. Huge gap. Yeah. Probably we like were, 12. I said toddler. Ten. She said, yeah, like no. seven ish. Like, <laughs> That's a there's seven. a huge gap between toddler and seven. <laughs> yeah. So school. You just start school age. I don't School. know. No, I'm you just, don't just, start I don't think I can. He can't have that right now. But yes. So, uh, we, I mean, I remember going to school. Like those school. were the okay. fun. You go to school, school and you had to was, realize no, that you weren't that eating for lunch. I think it was because it was like we couldn't spend a night <laughs> over people's houses. We got two houses. conversations going on. Huh? We couldn't spend a night at nobody's no, house. No, our fondest So we could spend a night there. at church. Yeah. 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 So that was kind of like slumber fun. party. Yeah, yeah. but we friends. couldn't eat. But mine yeah. was growing up, you know, going to camp, growing up in church yeah. with all of our friends, our camp. community. Yeah, we did we, camp. We did a lot of singing. You don't remember camp? No, she was the best. I didn't remember camp. You really don't remember camp. Okay. Yeah, but so singing, hanging out, definitely. I mean, it's just... The, the fun we had, and that's what we I did. appreciate. But our life, missing, our life like, like you that. said, our life was church. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and mom and so dad made sure school we just, had a lot of fun, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, we laughed I mean, I loved time. my, I, I didn't feel like I missed anything yeah. growing up. If anything, um, we rushed school. So we can hurry up and get to <laughs> that's church. That's great. Yeah. We so did. what do you, what do you really think's was. like missing? Because it sounds like even as kids, you guys look forward to going, going to church, and it was something Definitely. that was exciting. And now, I mean, and I don't know if that, is more like once you hit a certain age, but what do you think we can do to make church fun for well, you? Well, I, I think you gotta spend more time there. Like Ash, like like the, um, Debbie just said, yeah. you, you know, we, we go to church and it's like, can we get out? And I'm like, where are we going? Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, you're going back into the hustle and bustle, you're going back into yeah. the temptation, you're going exactly. back into all of that. And so we spent well, so much time there that we had relationships, so going to school we really didn't worry about peer pressure that much because right, we knew exactly. we can go through this and we, we're going to hang yeah. out with a whole group of kids right. that right. believe the way the we like, believe. Right. And so we were right. in church, that's she true. said Sunday, but that's all day Sunday. All day Sunday. Um, and when I say all day, we would be at Sunday school, probably about eight. Yeah. My mom, again, she had 10 <laughs> kids, y'all, so right. and we no all excuse. Got, yeah. We were there, <laughs> no Sunday excuse. school. Wow. Then we would do Sunday morning service, service. and while this, while the pastor, Pastor Stacks, was getting towards the end of his sermon, we would begin to smell homemade oh, rolls, man. Fried, fried chicken, right. greens, yeah. yes. mac and cheese. It was just like, oh, right. service is almost over. Yes. And, then you <laughs> and so we would have we would have food. We had ice cream, and we would run and play outside with our mm -hmm. friends. And then we would come back and do Sunshine Band, mm -hmm. or if you were older, maybe YPW. YPW. Mm -hmm. um, and YPW. then YPW. 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 Okay. We, and then we don't. would. Uh, Take a short yeah, break and then we go to Sunday service. night service. Yep. Wow. And wow. so we would get out of service about 9 30, 10 o'clock. And then you go to bed. Go wow. to mm -hmm. And then we would go to Tuesday night and, and Thursday Tuesday. night service. I think then it was Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. And those were regular church services. And then, like Angie said, sometimes we'd be shut in. So we would yeah. stay. Sometimes that it's a revival. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So nonstop. Revival was yeah. five days a week. It was wow. nonstop. Wow. That's all we and knew. so we sang and had fun. And we mm -hmm. got in trouble, with, especially our brothers. I think they got whippings probably every Sunday <laughs> um, for not <laughs> for, running for, around, for, for talking <laughs> or doing something right, they had no right. business doing. But, but, but those were great memories. And so I think, I think when you ask that question, what can we do today? I think we have to look at where do we spend our time? Where, right. where is our children spending most of their time at? And the more time you spend in the house of the Lord, the more yeah. you want to be there. And you, you know, be it's, like, yeah. it, the, the sad things, because as y'all know, I got three boys. And so I'm a, I'm a part of that whole community where you're toting your children from this game and yeah. that sport yeah. and that mm -hmm. this. And, and I mean, as a parent, you spend, you, you're writing that check and you're, mm -hmm. you're doing all these things so these kids can have opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, so my thing is, is we do, we do get our kids where they have to go. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. usually when it comes to church, it's yeah. like, well, Optional. they have homework and mm -hmm. they have this. Mm -hmm. and, and we, we make excuses to why a child, you know, your child yeah. cannot have that endurance or build <clears throat> that endurance to fall in love with church. Right. Right. And right. the reality is, no, if my kids can go clean across town and get from that camp yep. to that, 
you're going to sit up in church and right. you're going to have a develop a love. So develop my kids that. go to both services and they go to, you know, the Wednesday night and they mm -hmm. go to everything we offer because everything. if <laughs> they have, you know, if I'm going to tote them yeah. elsewhere that cannot build their spiritual man, sure. mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure Let's... they're in church. And so I think today's problem is that we make excuses and actually kids have way more wherewithal mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah, they have the capacity. Uh, then, then we give them credit. So, so just maybe not prioritizing. It's not prior. Yeah. Church I would is say. more of like an option. We've lost there that. There you go. Yeah, we've lost that. And, and as we're talking about generations, I heard um, a, a wonderful woman of God say, I was, I was on Better Together taping the other day, and she said, what we make, when we talk about generations and passing it on, she mm -hmm. said, what we make optional the next generation will deem as unnecessary. Wow. That's good. That's good. And that was like, I was like, whoa. whoa. That's good. That's mm -hmm. deep. Mm -hmm. You That's know, really when we good. were growing up, it wasn't an op. It was like, are you kidding? You had to be there. Yeah. They could care less if we wanted to go. You're sick? Okay, we're going to lay hands yeah, on you. And, and you God will be all right in the church. <laughs> but right, right. but now Catholic. we yeah. act like it's an option. Mm -hmm. And then we wonder why we're raising kids that have no fear of God and mm -hmm. don't right. want to be near church. That's because good. we made it optional. Optional. Exactly. But I think we, we, we all have to really, and that's what this show is all about, really mm -hmm. wake up and be aware yeah. of the importance and the value mm -hmm. of every generation. You know, and if and we don't, if we don't care, then we're going we, to lose. We them. wanted we to learn how to pray like Mother Boy. Yeah, we wanted we to. Want yeah, to, to, we had to, those. But those it's role very, models it's and pretty mentors. important, Absolutely. Cece, because you know, with this worldwide pandemic that we have, you know, we're still struggling yeah. through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it it was pretty interesting how, you know, a lot of people will still feel a little bit more comfortable going out to the grocery store or to yeah, dinner but and go to can't go to church. Yeah. It's like, no, let's yeah. see. The, yeah. For me, in my go. house, we had to make sure and understand now, if we're going to take a chance, right. yeah. we're going to take a chance church. and assemble yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. You know, and, exactly. and, and obey That's that right. word of God yeah, and, 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 and <laughs> trust God in this instance. Yeah. So yeah. I think that is very mm -hmm. important because we're getting to a place where we need to make sure we re-magnify Come God's on. house, yeah. God's word, mm -hmm. and God's way. There you go. Uh, more so than you know, our our you know menial mm -hmm. schedules and so forth and yeah. so on. And so we have to really, really and, take and, a little look become, at our priorities and yeah. just become separate. Yeah, you know? yeah separate. And ourselves. then He'll mm -hmm. shine on us more. The mm -hmm. glory of God is shine on us more. And then you have a lot of people that want to go to the house of the Lord. Yeah, they'll because see there's a Lord. difference, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But there's like a when, difference. Like when Moses went on the back of that, you know, no. yeah. and he came back and they, he, <laughs> the he had the, right. yeah, that glory was on him. And yeah. the scriptures say we post a glory, we post a even more, mm -hmm. more because yeah, he's more. inside mm -hmm. of us. Right, you know? that's true. Right. So I think we just got to do some more separation. But but but, but that's true. But that's why we're talking about today because it starts that in the, it starts in the yeah. house of God. Yeah, it does. And if we as the church. Because I don't know about y'all. If we at the church are not standing. I love so, my, my so mother. Up. My goodness. I just wanted to be like her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because she wasn't, she wasn't trying to play two sides. Right. You know? Yeah. And you could see that. Yeah. So today, I think we just got to, you know, sh you know, tighten up on our leadership and mm -hmm. what we yeah. But when you say leadership, is not just pastors. Like you said, it's your mother. It's, it's you being the household. Absolutely. It's you right. being the mother. Like me for my kids. I want my right. kids to see that same good right. 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 And that's that I saw in my mother. And that's what right. you're talking right. about, generations. Yeah. There that's you what go. mom did. She passed on Absolutely. what it meant to have a walk with Christ. So when we would see her beauty, we mm -hmm. actually saw her walk with Christ in that she really allowed yeah, God to yeah. reside in her, in her everyday chores. Right. You know, and, and so then, yeah. as, as we're being here, generation, that's what she passed on to us. Right. And that's why Cece, you know, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. can see, they wonder what's going on with Cece. Like, yeah, I see a little so mama. Yeah, yeah, I see that so little tired. holiness in her. <laughs> and I was like, she looking just like my mama. <laughs> but no, yeah. that's that's so that's silly. that's that's what we're trying to do. But emulate. those attributes, mm -hmm. like Absolutely. Mama, the, the law of kindness is in her tongue, mm -hmm. and you can read that in what is the mm -hmm. Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she did it. She walked that life. Yeah. And I was gonna you say, know? I think that's a, a key point. Like if if parents are just saying, "Come on, we're going to church," but they're not 
There it walking is. it out yeah, at right. home, yeah, then it kids can almost kind of resent. Like then they see it as religion. Oh, definitely. And I think it there has because yes, yeah, I think point. it's incredibly important. I don't think church should be optional because I heard something on the radio the other day. Mm -hmm. They were like, "Should you make your kids go to church?" And the guy said, "When they're children, yes." He said, right. "Once they get to that age, I don't know if it's like the teenager." He was mm -hmm. like, "I don't." He his opinion was, "I don't think we should force them to go." Because, and I think what he was saying is he wants them to realize like, it has to be your choice. Like right. you have to want a relationship with the Lord and all mm -hmm. that. So I'm like, okay, I get that side. But at the same time, it's like, I think well, as long as they're in your house, eating right. your food, that's what I thought too. You but make them go to church. You got that light as in their bedroom. As long as you can make them go you anywhere, you make them so go So here's a question. If, up and, if until, say, say, until you're until in my house, as long point. as you're in my house, like we're going to church. Yeah. How can, how can parents enforce that without I don't know without it being this like yeah. we're going to church well, and like then, she just said you walk in love yeah. like you said you're walking and our parents <laughs> even though they were strict and we knew that it, it, they really didn't care what we thought they right didn't. um but because they were godly people mm -hmm. and that they did show us love they, they understood and we were kids and so we laughed a lot you know mm -hmm. um yeah, but their strict rules were their strict rules. Yes. We could, like Andy said, we couldn't go to nobody's house and spend the night. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you. I remember Daniel <laughs> tried to get over on our dad cousin. one day, and he went to our cousin's First house. Cousin. Yeah. And and my father First went cousin. to the house late at night, and knocked on the door and said, "Anybody in their mind, come on out right now." Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. in his pajamas, <laughs> but he didn't. What he did not care. Come on. You're not spending the um, night. Exactly. So they um, had rules that we didn't like. You right. know, but they weren't trying to be our best friend. They right. understood they were, their they position. But I think you, they were you're leading saying us. You can't but force the, salvation on someone. No, you right, can't. You can't. That. And I think it's, and I don't know, I guess this is more of like a parenting mm -hmm. question or yeah. tool. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you hear some kids say, the minute I get to college, like, I'm doing whatever I want. I'm right. not going to church because right. I had to go. And, you know, so I, I guess it's really more of how can you help guide a child to have a relationship with the Lord I and, like, I, fall in love with Jesus and want to be at church as opposed to just, I'm going because my parents said I got to go. There it is. No, no, no. Here I it think, is. go ahead. It's she's the, got it's, the answer. Yes, yes she's got the, the answer. It's the fruit. It's the fruit. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, right? the, it's the fruit, right? but also it's ministering. It's not just... Like I raised you guys, and 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 I've made mistakes raising you and Alvin, but I, I did a lot of things right as well. And, and the thing is, you, yes, I have a rule for you to go to church or coming with me. Right. Mm -hmm. But when you raise your children, you're ministering to their spirits. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you you don't just say you're doing this and that's it. You tell them why you're doing it. Yeah. You share the goodness of moment. the Lord. This is why I want you to go, because I want you to have peace. Mm -hmm. I want you to have character. Mm -hmm. So so you explain salvation to them, mm -hmm. opposed to just saying, you're doing this and just be quiet. And, th and throughout the week, not just putting the emphasis there on church, go. but it's, teaching it's them at lifestyle. home. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, you're teaching well, them. Well, like, yeah. 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 like for instance, yeah. um, with me, I always tell my boys, uh, God has entrusted me with you. Mm -hmm. And let me just say this, Debbie has Great boys too. They're awesome. Yeah, they're really and they're, good. what I'm, are their I'm ages? Uh, 19, 17, and 15. And yeah. so I'm talking about the throes yeah. of teenage, 19. okay? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. And, and they, wow. they love the Lord and they love church. They love yeah. the Lord. But you know, it's us. so funny because you, you, you can't get really thrown when you're, they're younger and they don't really show signs of loving the Lord. Right. Yeah. You, you, you got to train like, them. That's where train up a child. Y'all don't like them. You know, what did I do wrong? You can't get thrown. You have to stay the course. Yeah. Because they are coming into their own knowledge, right? Right. So, but what I did was, it is about talking, you know, explain it. So I let them know, listen, guys, you know, God <laughs> has entrusted me with a duty mm -hmm. to raise you in the fear of God. Let me finish my course. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure by the end of my job, yeah, you will either learn mm -hmm. through what you've seen God do in my life that he's a good God. That's good. Or I'm sure God, he knows what he's doing from here on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, uh, is, you know, that kind of cools it down from, I don't want to go and you got to go. I, yeah. They, they kind of like, okay, you got to do your job. Yeah. And my job is I can't negotiate with you. Mm -hmm. The part of the job is that I'm supposed to raise you in the fear of God. So we go into church. That's good. And right now in this dispensation time, while you're with me, there's not really a lot of wiggle room for you to get your way. Yeah. I've got to do my part. And That's then, good. That's a good way to look at it. And then they've learned by watching the They're goodness seeing, of God throughout. Yeah. And like, you said, you like she said, the fruit, the fruit in the your fruit. The, the parents' lives. 
okay, there's something to this whole exactly. living for Jesus. It's not just because a I rule. said it's so. Just rules. Right. Yeah, not it's not just rules. Right. Because it's, it's religion rules. or tradition. Because sometimes it can turn mm-hmm. into that. So mm-hmm. that's yeah. great. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play a, a little game. We're gonna a game. We're gonna okay. have a trivia game in honor of women's. Is this the first game on the show? <laughs> no, the second one. No, second. we've oh, okay. actually done a okay, game okay, or two. Okay, okay. Um, in stuff. honor of women's <coughs> history. Okay. Oh, Lord. Is that correct? Yes. Women's history trivia. We're can, gonna do that can first. Can she have her phone out? No, I'm not. She can have her phone out, but she can't look up answers. I'm not looking up anything. I'm not cheating. You cannot cheat. Okay. Okay, this is the first trivia question. I guess we're going to do it. How do we do this? Like whoever answers first. Yeah, we'll just shout it out if we know. Shout it out or Or raise Whatever we think, I guess. Okay, um, so we have uh, a woman in history and then some women in the Bible. That whole thing. Okay, this first one says, this woman is known as the queen of gospel and appeared in the movie Imitation of Life. Who is she? Oh, oh Mahalia uh, Jackson. Yeah. Okay, a point yeah. for mom. She oh, said I it first. It was Bible question. Well, we, well, we, we got both. both. She's spiritual. Not, she's we don't spiritual right? She might win. Only on Bible. <laughs> Only Bible. Because <laughs> it's carnal. Yeah, okay, these, ne- these next four questions are Bible. No, let's Women see. in the Bible <laughs> trivia. Okay, okay. okay. Let's see. What woman in the Bible changed her name to hide her identity and Esther. later became queen? <gasps> Oh, you she know, that's dude, she, she, she's showing she's off for y'all show. Uh, go ahead. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. All right. She all right. probably she, had the question. Come on, spiritual right. one. Come she, on, she spiritual did. Angelique. Next question. Angelique. This okay. woman of the Bible laughed when she was Sarah. told. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Abraham's <laughs> wife. Sarah Abraham. He had to clarify. He said, yeah. so she won't act like hers was really deep. Hers was really deep. We don't know what Sarah is talking about. I don't know which was she Sarah at that point or was she no, Sarah? Sarah. She's Sarah. Ah. She was Sarah. She was Sarah. No, yes, well, this was. says Sarah, but I don't okay. know. That made me think of it. Well, she did have two names. Okay, <laughs> who was the only female judge named in the Bible? Deborah. 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 That's a ten. Deborah. Listen. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you that one. We'll no, no, it is me. One. It is me. You guys <laughs> shouted it out all at the same time. All right, go ahead. Okay, okay. last question. This woman of the Bible was a prominent church leader and ministered with her husband, Aquila. Aquila Priscilla. Oh, you know, Deborah Priscilla. Is is there an angel? Is there an angel? There's an angel. There's angels. There's angels. Yes, there were no no one angels. She went real angelic. There's angels. Okay. No. Next, we're gonna shift gears a little bit. This oh next God, game, another game. This is a this is a if you grew up in church type of game. Oh, you okay. Churches. So yeah, yeah I didn't play so saved and sanctified. I didn't play she church. She said she didn't play church. So oh. <laughs> she's too oh saved. She didn't get that any of those questions. Funny. Yeah. She's, she's funny. funny. <laughs> okay, first question. Where might your mom pop you at church? Ooh, in, in church. In if mouth. you're if you're in your mouth. Where not no, where okay. in the where in the sanctuary in the church. Oh, yeah. in the sanctuary yeah. 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 yeah yeah you're yeah. talking in church you're doing something there's yeah. majority rules so yeah you guys got that right and you're in your in this in the pew in the, in church. the pew okay. okay uh a church mother just gave you the look what did you do talk or chew chew gum chew and gum <laughs> it says talk that's really chew good talk uh, during the yeah. or since the start of it when we were growing up is one they'll come back with the glove and be like I was like mom. Y'all kids it's just chew gum, Wilkins. man. No, 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 no. Y'all, they oh, drinking okay. coffee, Y'all right? Can, yeah. yeah, that that's that all like, the first church that. I actually went to. I went. I was like, oh no, Jesus, y'all drinking coffee? Yes, yes. it's and amazing how far we come. No, church we couldn't chew gum. Right. 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 That's another show. That is so Let's true. talk about church. We culture. had to like repent over the that. evolution of church culture. Yes. Okay, what is the most essential element in a church mother fashion starter kit? White. White gloves, nursing white hat, nursing shoes, outfit, an yes. outfit, uh, a dolly. Dolly. Okay. Then we get in tights. White stockings, tights. definitely. So <laughs> these answers are uh, kitten heels, a hat, pearls, and a whole slip. Oh, a whole slip, <laughs> yes. So, oh, definitely slip. a slip. Whole we slip. Gotta, we gotta those. have the slip. Gotta have a whole yes. slip. Okay, last question. Uh, as a little girl, you weren't in your Easter best unless. Fill in the blank. You had on white shoes. 
Easter best white shoes. <laughs> first, like she's okay. On flurry yeah. dress. You guys are really. On, this is really funny. Okay, the what? first option is you had on patent leather shoes. Yeah, yeah. patent leather. Had, leather. Had, to leather. Patent leather. Right. had to be patent leather. You You're had right. on white gloves. Yes. Your hair was freshly pressed. Yes, <laughs> freshly pressed. <laughs> Or Curls. you had ruffles Sister, on your church socks. Yeah. Uh, what was her name? All of these. Sister Walker. Uh, Sister, Sister Walker. Walker used to press Man. our hair. Oh press my our goodness. little brain. We would have yeah, every part of it. You said you could go out in the rain. And, yeah, yeah, yeah that's rain just bounce yeah, right. waterproof. Exactly. Waterproof <laughs> on your hair. So. Bounce off. Very Thank good. That was fun. That was fun. Those you guys got them all right. Those answers are right though. Ruffles. Very active. Pat leather shoes. So anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Stay tuned. We're going to take a break real quick, but we're coming back with more Pass It On, and it's going to be powerful. We have a friend joining us, and you don't want to miss her. Ladies, are you ready to celebrate the faithfulness of God and experience transforming joy? It's our pleasure to announce Generations Live with CC Winans. This special conference for women of all generations is happening in Nashville, Tennessee on May 6th and 7th at Bethel World Outreach. Join us for a power-packed two-day event led by 12-time Grammy Award winner C.C. Winans, along with world-renowned speakers such as Dr. Anita Phillips, Charlotte Gamble, Dr. Naomi Pascal, Dr. Bridget Hilliard, Dolores Winans, and Ashley Phillips, featuring worship with C.C. Winans, Nashville Life Music, and many, many more. Get your tickets now at CompassionLive.com and join CC and friends for a transformative weekend that will last a lifetime. Welcome back to Generations. Uh, we're so glad that you're joining us and we're having a good time. We played a game. I won. <laughs> um, but, but they did good, though. Of they did good. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't rigged at all. <laughs> We're so excited because we have a special guest that is joining yes. us today, and we want you guys to to she's welcome family. her. She is family. Absolutely. We've been knowing her all our lives, and Absolutely. she's joining us virtually. Stuff. Come on, everybody. Let's put our hands together for Hi, Tammy, Tammy Bennett. Tammy. Tammy. Pastor Tammy, Tammy Bennett. Yes. Tammy for life right here. Tammy for Absolutely. life right here. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous sisters. How are you? <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Now, we've been knowing you all of our lives. And of Absolutely. course, your last name is Bennett now. But growing up, your last name was Stacks. Mm -hmm. And um, special for so many reasons. But yes. Tammy's dad, um, Elder Stacks, Elder Stacks. Jesse Stacks, yes. was our pastor in yes. uh, Ashley. And uh, yeah. he was our spiritual <laughs> father. What an incredible teacher. Incredible. What an incredible preacher. And we're talking about the importance of, of mm. generations and how one generation uh, really molds another, which, right. which, which takes me to a scripture that I, I want to share. And it says um, in Psalms 145 and 4, one generation commends your works mm -hmm. to another. Mm. They tell of your mighty acts. Mm. And, wow. and when I think of your dad, That's Elder good. Stacks, Absolutely. all the lessons. I remember as a teenager being excited about coming yes. to church. Yes. I had my pad and pen mm -hmm. because your dad would bring out the board mm -hmm. and he right. would teach that word of God where it was literally the Bible says it's sweeter than honey than oh, on a honeycomb. Honey you know, yeah. it was so yeah. good. It was and, a walking proverb. Oh, man, it was just <laughs> it was, it was amazing yeah. because I would, we had service during that time on Tuesday. I need Tuesday to calm down. Y'all hear I'm excited, yeah, right? I know, yeah. I'm excited because I'm like there. But we had it on Tuesdays and Thursdays at that time. And I just remember going here in the word of God. And before I got back on Thursday, I would see the word of God in action. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So it made wow. you excited to come back and say, oh, I know this works That's because exactly. yeah. this happened and he said this on Thursday and in between Thursday, yeah, I mean, Tuesday and Thursday, Thursday. you would see the manifestation, you Absolutely. know, but but yes. it, it impacted my life for the rest of my life. Absolutely. And you yeah. don't know that as a kid, you don't, right. you know, you don't. but so so tell me how how has the generations before you impacted your life? Yeah. I think the scripture you just read, it, it's a demonstration of it in all of our lives. It's the mighty works. Mm -hmm. The mighty works, that's us. 
we're the mighty works that Very we're good. still able to stand and Praise hold the God. standards and hold the teachings. Um, Daddy's birthday was actually yesterday. Oh, really? um, March 15th was yeah, his birthday. Right. And as soon as you said that, I'm like, wait, I can't be crying on set, but right, right. Um, because it's one thing for, because he was such a phenomenal teacher, it's one thing for him to be my father, live in my heart, think about him, miss him. Mm -hmm. But it's another thing when you hear other people right. um, testify about what he meant to them. It's just, um, yeah, it's mighty work. So I am who I am because of those teachings, period. Mm -hmm. Just period. Mm -hmm. um, they were principles is what I like to say, because you know, everything, everybody likes to debate everything, but you got to live by something. Mm -hmm. Something has to guide your choices, your decisions mm -hmm. um, throughout your life. And so to have biblical principles, mm -hmm. they become your guider mm -hmm. through life, mm -hmm. um, through all of life, how to deal right. with finances, how to deal with marriage, how to deal with Absolutely. forgiveness, mm -hmm. um, how to deal with rejection, everything. Um, scripture becomes your uh, foundation for principles. So that's what I appreciate about my father um, is that we all know he didn't compromise the principles. No, no. I, I, I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. I, just we all know that he didn't compromise. So as a child, to see that in your father, mm -hmm. it makes you say, then, wow, this thing must really be that serious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because fathers are our heroes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And right. nobody tells fathers what to do. But for <laughs> fathers to submit to the word exactly. of God yes. makes yes. a child say, who is God? Right. That my daddy got to do what he says. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And yeah. that's what it did to awesome. me that's that, great. you know, because daddy was large. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we ain't gonna get into my daddy's swag. Man. We oh, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. He was the sharpest brother. <laughs> that was man was I, the I boss. Close. I came oh, close oh, to, okay. to marrying somebody who looked like yeah, she tried. <laughs> she <laughs> tried. <laughs> she <laughs> tried. <laughs> she <laughs> tried. <laughs> she <laughs> tried. She 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 Exactly. No, Pastor Stax <laughs> was the bomb <laughs> from head to toe. He was, he was the beautiful. inside and out. How about that? <laughs> inside and out. But uh, and he Ashley, had effortless swag. So, <laughs> Ashley, what she's saying is pretty much what you asked before. What makes a teenager mm -hmm. want to go to church? Mm -hmm. And she just said to see her father mm -hmm. yeah. be a Submit. man that submits to something. To you God. ask yourself, who is this God? Mm -hmm. right. And so being that example, example. is what They're makes a child want to mm -hmm. walk in the, in That's the path. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So let, let me ask you this. So how That's important good. is it that, how important, how important was it that they took out time to pour into us and how important is it for us to take out time to pour into the next generation? Right. Why is this so important, Tim? Yeah, I, I think for me personally, because, you know, I had my share of doing some crazy stuff mm -hmm. and, and had to come right into it to realize they were right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that the word is right. And I think it's normal. You know, we all do what we got to do to try to find our way and, you know, do some things that, mm -hmm. you know, totally rebellious until we find out it's right. And they were right. right. So um, what that's done for me, it's 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 so telling me to tell my kids, you know, you can try it. And it's like, you know, you can shoot those dice if you want to. You can roll it. It's going to come up right that the mm -hmm. word of God is right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and it's not a mother and father principle. It's a right. godly principle mm -hmm. um, that we had to learn, too. So right. I think it's very important for me to not make my children think I'm perfect and I got this because I don't. Right. But I've learned some principles right. that you Always see the boring. successes in my life, not mm -hmm. because I was perfect, but I learned some principles yeah. that I had to apply, mm -hmm. which has allowed me to survive the storms of life mm -hmm. right. and land OK. And mm -hmm. so it's important to me, um, even when it even even coming to the house of God, I, I you know, I. I, I don't like people to say, you know, I was raised in a church. I get it. But sometimes it's like it's an institution. Well, I wasn't raised in the church. Mm -hmm. I was raised learning God's principles. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And the good way to just put happened it. Yeah, to be the church. Right. Yeah. But we embraced it. It followed us home. Mm -hmm. right. And our parents applied it at home. Yeah, there you but go. the church was right. just the place the we learned. That's it. You the get building. What I'm right. That church is on the inside. Yeah. 
Yeah. And when I, and when I break it down like that with the kids, that they understand that this is just where we're going to, to be able to have these principles come together, worship and et cetera. But it's a way of life. Mm-hmm. Right. It's a way of it's life. Way of and, life. and if you stuff. want a happy life, I, I can promise you this yeah, way. Yeah. If you, if you want to go another way, that's at your own risk. And right. you know, yeah. 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 Right. Well, that's the thing. Right. As, as holy as God is, he gives us, he, he gives us will. choice, free will. Free will. Right. Um, but I want to read a scripture that really is perfect to what you just said is Hebrews 13 and 7. It says, remember your leaders, Mm -hmm. those who spoke to you the word of God, Mm -hmm. consider the outcome of their way of life (laughs) and imitate their faith. Okay. Wow. That's good. Is that powerful? Where is that at? Yeah. Where is that? <laughs> 13 and 7. Which is it? Proverbs? Hebrews. Oh, Hebrews. Sorry. Hebrews, Hebrews. 13 Hebrews. and 7. Yeah. Good. That's good. So you said that where you saw the principles work in his life and in mm-hmm. their lives. The outcome. And so, and, and then it tells us to imitate. Absolutely. You know, but that's your choice. You know, right. the thing that's is, Cece, it, it goes back to the whole point of this topic. You know, generations. Is it important? What does it mean? Um, there's generational blessings, mm. generational mm. curses. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. God promised to bless Abraham's seed. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, and the thing is, is that we are of Abraham's exactly. seed. Mm-hmm. And so the thing is, is it's a passing on. Yeah. Right. It is the first living it out so it could be seen See. and, and viewed as somebody actually walk it out so that it can be imitated. Mm-hmm. And so it is a constant uh, passing down of the blessing that God imputed upon mm-hmm. someone's yes. faith mm-hmm. is not about yes. perfect Mm-mm. you know mm-hmm. so you can even have a leader that may not be perfect like you said as parents we didn't do it perfect mm-hmm. you know right. but god's grace and his mercy is still there you know and so yes. therefore if we work the principles if we live that thing and like you said yes. instead of it looking at it as a building recognize that we are the church yeah. we are the temple yes. in which christ dwells right. and yes. therefore a parent or a leader showing that imitating that allows us to know how it looks and how yeah, it's supposed to be walked out. Yeah. And we can, like that scripture say, see the works and actually yeah. see yeah. that it came about and we can witness it and imitate it. So, I mean, I thank yeah. God for, mm-hmm. you know, that scripture covers all of this. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. This is what yeah. we're supposed to do. It's supposed to be perpetual. We live it yes. and then the next generation, we pass it on, but we, we have, have to be bold about letting the next generation understand this is really not an option you, you're right mm-hmm. you can you can yeah. roll the dice take your take your gamble but you're gonna yeah. be right back at that this <laughs> is right yeah. because god's word yeah. is true yeah. and yeah. uh you yeah. know and so well that's that's, that's one really of the important. things one of the things that i always say that i'm so grateful for for those who went before me i never had to guess about what godliness looked like mm-hmm. right You understand what I'm saying? And I I want to say this to all of those who are watching. Mm -hmm. It is the Bible says, be doers of the word, not hearers only. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. and when you walk it out, I think it's it's, it's God is amazing. You you set the blueprint. There's a pattern that Mm -hmm. that people can follow you after. They'll see you go through ups and downs. How did you handle that bad moment? How did you handle being taken advantage of? Like you said, Tammy, did you walk in forgiveness? Mm -hmm. All of these things are in the word of God. They're Mm -hmm. principles, but they don't really come alive until we walk them out. And the reason reason why it's so important for us to do that is we have to remember God loves everybody. Yeah. Yes, he, does. he loves our father. Generations and generations mm-hmm. and generations <laughs> that are to mm-hmm. come. So if the word of God, the living word of God and the and the blessings of, of God are going to continue, continue and last throughout mm-hmm. each generation, it's up to us. We have to pass and it on. And two, you the reason to. why we want to live godly is not just so we can say I'm a godly person, but it's all of the people that are going to benefit from seeing from that. Yeah. Absolutely. And just not, and kind of taking your mind off of yourself and like, I just got to live right. But who, who it's benefiting somebody. It like is. you said, we have to have examples. Mm-hmm. So true. Mm-hmm. So true. Pastor Tammy, let me ask you a question. Debbie brought out a, a very important point that the Bible tells us about the generational blessings but let's talk curses. about a little bit about the generational curses. Tell yeah. me, is that, is that real? And how do you break that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's real. But, you know, understanding that, you know, you know, sin made us all curse, if you there would. You Come just, I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. So, so all of us have come with that. And I, and, 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 and you know, our ministry and, you know, you know, I got folk from the street that, 
if God didn't help me to know how to minister that, it could look like separate groups. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is good. You know what I'm saying? Like there's separate groups of people mm -hmm. and that, you know, oh, these people came from a church background. God, so surely that seed must be blessed. And that's not the case because we were all, you know, Born in sin. sin. Our that's mother right. Sin. So we were all. And if it weren't for his grace, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. period. Yeah. That's what cuts the curse mm -hmm. of the generational things, whatever that might be, whatever. because religion can be a curse. Amen. Come on. You know the form That's of godliness, good. but you don't have the power. Oh so, so, oh so the, the curse is the curse of sin that we've all mm -hmm. been delivered from. And so I would say that Ham, Pastor Hannah, my friend Pastor, he, we know Pastor, he said something very strong. He ministered at a youth conference for us one time. And he was talking about, you know, addictions and different things. And he said, he said, there's some things he said that it's just not an addiction for me. He said, but I know addictions in my family. Right. Mm -hmm. That because those addictions are in my family, mm -hmm. he said, if I were ever getting, he said, I'm scared I'd never come out of it if it not for the grace of God mm -hmm. because of the, the bloodline in our family. Right. So I think that's exactly what Debbie is referring to. So there are some spiritual links mm -hmm. in our family. And I would dare to say not only in our family, but they're spiritual and demonic links in ethnicities mm -hmm. that that carry on from generation to generation Absolutely. so again it comes to the blood of the lamb so the, the, the curse Thank you, is Lord. stopped when i accept jesus christ period yes, exactly so, that's when it's mm -hmm. period when i accept jesus mm -hmm. christ i don't care about the ethnicity curse i don't care about the generational curse right. i don't care it, it is accepting jesus christ that begins to break the curse and that i find my new Mm -hmm. uh, somebody said something today and they said to Tammy, remember to always praise him in your presence because who you used to be, you'll never be anymore. And mm -hmm. so God is saying, and, and, the, and the move of this next generation that we have to be after as believers is letting them know that curse is over. Yeah. And so that's what we take to the next generation. We're dealing with a generation that that we all know about the suicide and mm -hmm. all the mental health and all of these things. And we get it and it's real. These are real demonic spirits. But the message that I learned that loose me 30 years ago is the same message. It and is. it'll break that curse in the 21st century. Absolutely. There's no new something right. that Satan induced. No. You feel what I'm saying? You yeah. might get a little Nothing irritated with that. Right. There's no new something you're going to introduce that's got so much power right. as right. Jesus did see it on the cross he when he died. It. It's <laughs> already done. So that's the message that yeah. this generation They've got to hear, but um, let, let me share something the Lord had to help me, Cece, because you know, y'all also know, you know, you know, cuts were normal in our day. Mm -hmm. Just that correction and yeah. having to see correction and <laughs> open correction Come and on. behind the scene correction. <laughs> <Open> <laughs> every every correction. type of correction. So, <laughs> it was normal. Right. And so uh, again, like that, dealing with that. So, uh, you know, that was what I was used to. And so when God began to bring this whole new harvest to our ministry, mm -hmm. he had to help me. And he said to me, he said, what worked for you in it your season? Right. It's not going to work now. That's mm -hmm. good. And he told me, he said that, you know, family uh, is defined differently right now. Foster care is on the rise. You know, abuse is on the rise. Rejection is on the rise. He said, and some of these kids today, they don't hear correction. They hear abuse mm -hmm. wow. because Ooh. they are so abused. Wow. He says, so Tammy, your tactics have to change. Yeah. And good. you've got to let me soften your words so they'll he yes. hear yeah. healing. Mm -hmm and hear my comfort so because good. they're coming in so abused wow. and so rejected. Yeah. Again, these generational curses. So Debbie, what, what and it, it brings me, I get emotional. What I feel very honored about is to bring the blessing. Yes, We bring the blessing yes. that for some kids or mm -hmm. families that we bring the first generation Absolutely. of blessings into your life. Mm -hmm. That's called Jesus. Yeah. That everything else is already destroyed and behind you. I know your mother may have died of a nervous breakdown, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean it's got to happen right. to you. Yeah, that right. hurts. Mm -hmm. 
right. broken. I know your father may have been on drugs and died, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. The yeah. curse is broken. So oh, that's the joy that we have to all feel as believers that and be that open that I don't know who this blessing have to fall on. It might be the girl in the department store. I'm going to yeah. send the blessing girl. That curse is about to be broken. It might yeah. be my coworker. We're about to break that curse, girl. We're going to break the curse. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. That's, that's, good. that's the joy um, mm -hmm. for me of bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ. It right. is breaking that whatever. It's I don't breaking. care about your history. Yeah. I know what God said about your future. Yes, mm -hmm. that's good. That's, that's good. good. Yes, I'm okay, telling you. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break real quick and we'll be right back to talk more more I about generations and uh, the generations conference that we're having soon. So see you in a minute. Very good. Hey everyone, it's Cece here. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube community. If you enjoy the content from this channel, would you do me a favor and hit like and subscribe? My hope is to create more content that will draw all of us closer to Christ and your support helps me to spread the gospel. Me and my team have a lot in store for this channel and love to hear your feedback in the comments. Thank you in advance for your participation and may God continue to bless you. Welcome back. We are having a wonderful time talking about generations, talking about the blessings. You know, we, we're church girls, yes, right? right. Oh, we nice. make no apology. Well, you're a church no. girl, Tammy. You're a church girl, I was a church right? Girl. Yeah. Church girl. <laughs> you made it. You made it in. You made it in. <laughs> but 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 we're talking about but we're talking about principles, not the place, church, the but but the, the building or but understanding that we're the temples of the Holy Spirit, yeah. right? Absolutely. And and ask, Debbie, yes, yes, uh, yes, Debbie, you had something. You no, I was just share. saying I wouldn't want anybody that's watching think, oh man, you know that sounds great you guys were raised in it mm -hmm. I didn't I don't know if I will ever have that that's not the case especially according to the Word of God in Galatians it was just saying in uh, 326 it says so in Christ Jesus uh, you are all children of God yeah. through faith yeah. mm -hmm. so right. the moment you accept Christ that's good. That's good. the curse has been removed yeah mm -hmm. yes. and yes. then later on it says if you belong to Christ then you are Abraham's seed mm -hmm. an heir according to the promises so the same promises mm -hmm. and the same you know power we've been talking about being raised in it doesn't matter that we were raised in from children, mm -hmm. if you join the the party yeah, just now, right we have hand. the same mm -hmm. promises. Yes. We are the same heirs mm -hmm. to the promises of God. And so I want you to take that and be bold about it because it's yours. Yes. Own it and then declare those that come behind you mm -hmm. will have the promises that you have. And you would yes. pass that on to, you know, as generations behind you, you can have that promise, you can have but that glory. But I think glory. it's important to... And it's, link up Value. with somebody to teach you how to walk that out. Yes. Yeah. But that's Having church. Mentors. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's church. That's life groups. That's mm -hmm. doing life with one another. That's having someone accountable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be accountable because you want somebody to help you, you know, fulfill all of somebody God's you can right. somebody you can imitate. Somebody, somebody you can somebody imitate who's walking out the principles. I think it's real yeah. important mm -hmm. um, to have mentors. Even the Absolutely. Titus 2. People are sleeping on the Titus yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah. It says, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, definitely. You need that gray head. You need that wisdom The Bible in your says life. for yeah, the older absolutely. women to teach the younger That's women. The and, and a lot of women our age or my age or older, a lot of times, especially when the kids are gone, sometimes they feel, what do I do now? You have so, so much, much to give. To give. So much Somebody's waiting for you to pour into them, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And so right. I think it's real important that we look at our lives and say, okay, who's pouring into me and who am I pouring into? Very I think good. that's something that that's, should always be happening. Should always, you yes. never grow out of a mentor. Mm -hmm. You always exactly. can right. learn something new. You always can be encouraged. You always can be lifted up. But who are you lifting up? The Absolutely. Bible says, go, make disciples, you mm -hmm. know? Yes. And so we yes. all should live lives that mm -hmm. that somebody else can imitate. Because sometimes mm -hmm. life can be hard. Oh, but if a you lot of times. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lots of times. Many times. Yeah, if you on purpose get mm -hmm. with somebody yeah. that the can teach yes. you to go through yes. that and keep the peace and anchor with the word of God. Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes you have, have to be intentional and seek it out. I mean, it may not always naturally happen. It's okay to be intentional and say, hey, can we like get together? Yeah, can absolutely. we pray? Right. I would love to like learn from you. Mm -hmm. I would love to have some conversations because 
a lot of people don't naturally have that. They yeah. don't have a parent or right. um, somebody right. that has been able it's to true. pour into them. So yeah, and also. I found too, it's great to have people you know that, that you can talk to, mm -hmm. but, but also you can be, because when we were growing up, we didn't have life groups, you no, know? We, we had service, but we were disciple right. from afar. Mm -hmm. You can look at somebody's life. I know people look at Pastor Tammy's life, they look Absolutely. at our lives from afar, and you can see a pattern, you can see the lifestyle, you can learn, and so don't, don't ever let the enemy come in and feel like, make you feel like the, there's no hope. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Because there is right. hope. I, Jesus is there. Mm -hmm. And then if you pray for that mentor, God will bring somebody into your life. Right. You know, I, I, go ahead, Tammy. Definitely um, as women, because, you know, we're forever changing, forever, forever changing hairstyles or whatever moods, changes of life, mm -hmm. et cetera. We're forever changing. Okay. And um, I think what what helps me is is I always try to mentally and prepare for my next shift because you're going to do it. And so this mm -hmm. is like the same thing that happens in marriage. Like I know, you know, you know, let's marry somebody that complete us. And I started thinking about that. I was like, man, do I want them to complete me or do I want them to evolve with me? Right. There you because go. I'm going to change. And if you keep me That's where good. I was at 20, I'm not going to be that same That's woman right. at 40. Yeah. Right. And That's so I, I want that companion that will keep evolving with me evolving. and I can keep evolving with them. Mm -hmm. So when I think of mentorship, I think of my next so, you know, you know, right now, you know, my kids are teenagers and things. I have I have two beautiful bonus children. But, you know, my next is they're going to go to college. Right. And then um, the whole so-called empty nest syndrome or whatever. But how do I not only govern my own life, but then what kind of parent do I need to be in their 20s? There you so, go. It's different. Because it's yeah. a That's different changed. kind of discipline. It's, it's a different Good kind point. of relationship. Sure I never want to be on their level like they're my girlfriend, but right. I never want to be where I can't understand where they are and remember who I was at 20, mm, who I was mm -hmm. at 30. So um, some of the core things is understanding the principles of God for women. You know, Proverbs, we know we read it, Proverbs 31, we read it on Mother's Day and things, but what makes that whole chapter so powerful about the virtuous woman mm -hmm. is because this was Solomon's mother. Mm giving him advice mm -hmm. to a man who had 700 wives. <laughs> oh, God. That's another whole show. Okay. That's a lot of women. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wow. If you ain't found your girl by now. But yeah. <laughs> it was like, his mom was like, boy, pull it in. You want a woman of substance. Yes, yeah. And so the part of being a godly woman um, if we could keep it real, that whatever our emotions are, and, and women that we come through a lot, you know, you have cases where women have been raped or abused mm -hmm. or different Definitely. things or whatever it is that then you could think this is why I'm the way I am, mm -hmm. because sin can leave its debris. Right. And when we go through some things and challenges of life, sin can leave when you, the debris behind to make you think this is just the Who way I you am. are. Right. This wow. is why you dress this way. This is why you act this way. Mm. This is why this is why you're this way. And it takes the word to say that's who you was, but let me tell you who you are, are to me. Yes. And so the quality of the virtuous woman, yeah, I get it, she, she was industrious, but he said, you know what? He said, in her tongue is the law, law of kindness. kindness. Yeah. And mm. This now becomes substance. That's it's right. deeper than, you feel me? It's not, yeah. it's not something I can readily You're get. Doing. I have to Ooh. give my heart to God yeah. to help to me get it. a mm -hmm. tongue of kindness, mm -hmm. um, wisdom, um, a mm -hmm. favor is deceitful and beauty, beauty is vain, but a woman, but a woman that fears the Lord, fears the Lord. She, she, shall be yeah. she shall be praised. Yeah. It just makes everything come to a balance. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Because we want to be beautiful and we should be beautiful, but it shouldn't be the essence of who we are. Mm -hmm. That beauty of who we are well, is our holiness. fear of God. Yeah. And yes. so so I've learned, and this is how I try to minister the good news of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ 
to women is that it leaves a, 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 what church you belong to or religion. I need Jesus mm, to right. help me become this woman of substance mm -hmm. and of quality. Mm -hmm. And so I need Jesus to help me raise my children because we feel left out as women. You do. Mm -hmm. You give your time to your kids and things, and then you can start being left out until you remember that God said that your works will praise you yeah. and that your children will rise and call you Absolutely. blessed. Oh, say, hey, I got my reward. Lord. And yes, so Lord. those kind of things become our inspiration as women of God, that it's not what the world have said I am. It's what God mm -hmm. said I am. And I'll get my reward. One of my uh, dear friends, um, Renette Manuel, um, Cece, I think you were on her daughter's show. Mm -hmm. um, um, she's the mother of fear of God and all these. Her kids are just all doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. uh, she's my neighbor. and We become really good friends. And I told her when I met her, I said, the Lord told me that there's an Abraham anointing on your life. And he put us together for that reason, because Renette is where I got to go. Her mm. kids are all grown. You see yeah, what I'm saying? And God has left yeah, her kids. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she's become my sister girl that I, I hear how she talks to her kids and how she rebukes sin out of their life and tell them you better get yourself together. But that godliness of who she is, I'm watching it pass to the generation of her daughters and her sons. Mm -hmm. So um, wow. to me, that's part of our generational part that we bring to women. Yeah. It's substance. It's not a book of rules and wrongs right. or right. Yeah. It's a substance that we bring yeah. as a woman that we don't fear like other women will fear that's because right. God rewards us yeah. for our life. Yeah, oh, God is that is wow, awesome. very good. So powerful, very so very powerful. Gracious. And I'm so glad that you you said what you oh, just said bold, because man. on 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 May uh, sixth and seventh, mm -hmm. we're going to do uh, Generations Live, and and wow. I'm inviting everybody to come. You yes. can um, uh, see all the information on Instagram, and we're going to promote it. But but we're coming together so that we can create an atmosphere. Mm -hmm of what you're talking about, Tammy, mm -hmm. um, because substance. the atmosphere of substance, mm -hmm. yeah. you yes. know, because we don't want to do another conference mm -hmm. and we're not doing another conference just to do another conference. Mm -hmm. right. Um, right. But but we we understand the power in coming together. Yes. You know, yes. we we grew up doing convocation mm -hmm. and and doing the different revivals and coming yes. together with other mm -hmm. believers and people of substance yeah. that poured into us mm -hmm. so that we could become. It's not about what we do, it's who we are. Yeah. You know? Yes. And, yes. and so I'm excited about that because when you've grown up and you've experienced the atmosphere mm -hmm. of substance, the atmosphere mm -hmm. of God's love, mm -hmm. um, yeah. holiness. Uh, hope, yeah. peace, mm -hmm. laughter, mm -hmm. um, wellness, really. It's really wellness. about being whole, whole. spirit, wellness. soul, yeah. and body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You, you want to create that for others because mm -hmm. that's really what it's all about. And that's what passing it on is all Maybe about. You, when mm -hmm. you take your eyes off of just yourself exactly. and you begin to look for somebody that you can be a blessing to, mm -hmm. um, yes. then blessings will increase in your life. Yes, absolutely. Have you guys found that Absolutely. to be true? Absolutely. Whenever you Absolutely. take out time and mm -hmm. pour into somebody else's children, God will bless your children. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, That's when good. you take out time yes. to say an encouraging word mm -hmm. to somebody, it, it counts. It, it matters. Does, yeah. And so we are people of value and we have value to give. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is the type of atmosphere that we're going to create, yeah. that God is going to bless us to have yes. um, generations right. live. And I'm so yes. excited about Dr. Bridget Hilliard would be there preaching. Dr. Pasco, I met yes, Dr. Pasco, Pasco through Debbie. Yeah, um, she God. goes to Beth the World yes, Outreach, so she's doctor. gonna be there. <laughs> Charlotte Gamble, y'all haven't heard her no, preach. No, no. Ashley's heard her preach. Have you heard her preach? Oh I'm my God. God. Get ready, get ready. She's from great. London, a blonde that can preach. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's beautiful. Uh, uh, Anita Phillips is gonna be oh, there. Oh, she's a wonderful. Mm. Yes, yes, and and uh, and so but but my prayer is. Uh, uh, Elder Barry and Sister Kathy Tolls will be praying yeah, is that the, the atmosphere mm -hmm. will just be saturated with the That's presence of God yes. because yeah. it's the presence of God, makes you know, that makes the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, everything. I mean, go ahead, Tim. But no, I was going to say um, just adding because I, I got to say this before I go, even when, you know, 
when I was doing crazy stuff that I was doing is we're talking about atmosphere and things, even in our lowest state as mm-hmm. women that love the Lord, mm-hmm. we can't underestimate the light that we're shining while we're still trying. True. I mean, you know, God is so high. Do we ever feel like we arrive? No, because no. he's so much higher than That's us. That's right. But as we move towards that light, we are becoming like him. Mm-hmm. Um, what helped me to really want it? It was the circles of you and my sister Sybil mm. and Kathy. And yeah. you all were so beautifully saved yeah. um, <laughs> that you became my right. hope. True story. That oh, wow. I mean, like my joke about Cece, and I've said this places, <laughs> is that you know, when we used to have the house to house prayer, which you know, like COVID <laughs> made us do that again. But anyway, <laughs> when, we have, yeah. when we would have house to house prayer. Like as soon as Cece got on her knees, she could cry. And it was like, right. how are you crying? <laughs> yeah, how did she make that connection so quick? How did she get quick to God connection. that quick? Still, What's up with that? I still had boys on my mind that I was like, Jesus. I God. know, you had, boys on, Jesus. She had to get through a little bit more. She had boys on her mind. <laughs> she had a direct but, connection. But she she did. She's been having a direct connection for a while. We were teenagers. Right. And so that substance is still there today. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still an inspiration today is still a light today that's the generation as i'm sitting here and i'm looking at debbie and angie and i'm looking at your daughter ashley i think of some i'm thinking of casey yeah, yeah, we are yeah. still women yeah. that we passed it on yeah. to our generations you, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and it was because it was in us you don't have to do anything we accepted it yeah we yeah. It. yeah there you go and, excellent and, and i think that's, that's awesome. a great point because there are awesome people out here ready to pour yes. but 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 guess what you have to be willing to receive you gotta be ready. yes you have how to be willing to receive how was it so instant for you how was it so, so yeah. instant for me sure, sure. you know what <laughs> it was instant for me y'all laughing at me <laughs> but when we talk about mentors you know my grandmother mother housey was like my best friend right <laughs> and uh so i hung out with the mothers i hung That's out the with them and they were, so I was at six o'clock prayer. I went okay. to six o'clock prayer before I went to school. Six, at 6 a.m. prayer, saints. <laughs> right. Um, but, but it was the end. Before inter- you went to school. Yeah, before That's I went good. to school. But <laughs> why, we, why we didn't go? All right, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all wanted morning. to sleep later. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's the, it's, and when you spend time in prayer Mm-hmm. And you have an intimacy with God. But again, having those mentors who, mm-hmm. who walked it out in front of me, mm-hmm. I, I saw the peace. Yes, they were a lot older, my friends. <laughs> <all> the <laughs> but they, on her, her friends, you should but, see that But picture. they had peace, they had joy, they had the presence of God. And I, and I was able to recognize it as a kid, you know? Yeah. And, and yeah. that, to me, was priceless. It was more important than friends. It was more important mm-hmm. than anything. And and yeah. and I'm forever grateful for that. Yeah. But but I hung but out you with the mothers. You didn't feel like you were missing out. Mm-mm. No, no, I never like felt like age. I was missing out. Okay. No, no, because it's not like I didn't have friends. Yes. I did have friends, right. you know, well, they were at all church. But <laughs> but but, but, <laughs> but you can hard fall hard. in love with the presence and, and but the have, presence of God. Yes, yeah, but having people in front of you is so important. The presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. Come on, so she, you know, you weren't missing out on anything. Out on anything. That's very true, you know, and I think that's what people think. They don't want to trade in their youth because they think I'm gonna get too old. But no, having a relationship with God is the best thing yeah. you ever have. So, 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 Debbie, so, oh, I'm, no, so, go ahead. So, I, I, first of all, you know, I, I, I'm comical to myself because God talks to me just kind of just really blunt and comical. True story. We were at this um, youth conference because, you know, my mentor, when God saved me good, was Mother Boy. And you know yeah. that just, yes. you know, I'm 18, 19, and I'm traveling with this 70 something year old woman on yeah. a regular, on a regular. Uh-huh. So um, so I, I would I would the Lord began to talk to me very soberly, just you know, sobering my mind, sobering my spirit. But in doing that, it would be so sober that sometimes I will go to the mirror and forget I'm young because I'm looking at her. And so, so be, but wait, let me come back to myself. Wait, 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 wait. One time we were at this youth conference and this to this day, it blesses me. We're at a youth conference in Chicago. It was packed. It was all these young people. And so on my way there, I'm on the plane. I'm talking to God, making my intercession. I'm saying to the Lord, you know, God, you know, I don't mind doing what you asked me to do on it, but I just feel so old. 
I said this to the Lord. I, said, I just don't, I just don't want to be old. And so I say this to the Lord, I'm crying. He says nothing. I'm on the plane and he says nothing. All right. So we get to the conference and I get in the service and it's packed. It's all these young people and it was mother boy service and she's laying hands and things. So they lay hands on me. And so, you know, so as I'm, I'm, I'm under the door and I'm talking to God and he said, open your eyes. I want you to see you know, see what's around you. And I see the young people. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, I'm not, he said, I, I have to give you wisdom mm -hmm. because this is your harvest mm -hmm. and you can't reach them if you're just like them. Mm -hmm. So he started sobering. So, you know, so I'm accepting it mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, yes, Lord. And I see it and I get it. And then he turned the corner. And he said, um, and about that old thing, he said, how can I make you old? at 30 and I made Sarah young at night. <laughs> All right. You can drop that you mic. You better drop that mic. You better drop oh, that mic. Yes. Yes. So the story. It left That's me good. after that. It just left me and I understood yes. that you know, he fashions us yes. for our harvest. That's good. Yes. He creates for us for our harvest. You don't even know who they are. You don't even know where they are. Mm -hmm. But he fashions mm -hmm. us as women of God for our harvest. Actually, while even on this program, this might be for you. This might be for you. I'm doing this with Man. my mom. Oh, this is real cool. But the mm -hmm. truth is, you have a harvest she can't reach. Yes. And it's yours. Absolutely. And these Good. days are not days yeah. because it's a program. It just happens to be your mother's occupation. And it happens to be the harvest that he's given mm -hmm. her, this field, this, this mm -hmm. field of 200,000, thousands and hundreds of women. But Ashley, it's your training. Mm -hmm. yes. It's really mm -hmm. your training mm -hmm. for where God is taking you for it's your generation. Awesome. Awesome. Because you will have a seed that will be rare in your time. Yes, and as Lord. you get older Absolutely. and as times will change because they're going to get worse right. because of the end time, exactly. there will be a seed that you will have and a yes, truth yes. and a wisdom and a yes. substance that you will have that will be hundreds and thousands of yes. women yes. that will sit at your feet mm -hmm. and will meet you here. Awesome. You have your own awesome. hearts. Praise well, Lord. you know what, Tammy, I'm going to have you pray us out. Um, thank you all for joining. Remember, um, wow remember that that we serve a God of generations yeah. and and generations of blessings are yours because of what Jesus did on the cross. You know, Absolutely. remember to pour into somebody. Mm -hmm. Remember to get poured into. Yeah. Make sure you're yes. you humble yourself and embrace the, the principles of God, because God wants to plant yeah. you like a tree by the rivers of water so that your roots yes. will go down deep and no matter what you face in life, you'll be able to stand. Mm -hmm. And not only you, but all of those who are coming after mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. All of those who are coming after you. Yeah, um, also, we want to invite you again to join us mm -hmm. May 6th and 7th for Generations Live here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's mm -hmm. going to be awesome. It it's sure going is. to be great. We would love for you to be there mm -hmm. in the house. And uh, Tammy, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, And Jen, Debbie, thanks for thank coming you. back. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. it, was a, it was popular Listen, demand. Before uh, she prays, yes. thank you. Oh, yeah. I'd like to thank you because I have been a witness, a front row witness mm -hmm. all of my life that mm -hmm. you have loved God with your whole life. Mm -hmm. And you have been, like Tammy said, the person that you your next door neighbor is someone you, you look to because that's where you're going. Mm -hmm. You've been that for me. Mm. You've been where I'm going. Mm. And so thank you because it's real, it's genuine, and uh, it, it, it works. Your, your, yeah. your, your consecration to God in spite of your career, yeah. it, it's precedent. It takes precedent yep. over everything. And so mm. thank you for that. You give me something to shoot for, look for, imitate mm -hmm. in marriage <laughs> and in music That's and in awesome. ministry. So thank oh, you. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank oh, you. Awesome. 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 Absolutely. Thank you. I love you guys. Tammy, pray us out. Father, we praise you and we thank you so much today, thank Father. You, we thank you for your loving kindness yes, and God. all of your goodness that you've bestowed yes. upon us. Father, we especially lift up all of our viewers, all yes, of the women God. and all of the men that may not know you, Father. We lift them up before you and we pray that today, Father, something was said that will destroy the yoke yes. in the name of Jesus. All yokes of bondage, mm -hmm. all yokes of mm -hmm. sin, all yokes mm -hmm. of rejection. Father, we ask 
ask that you bring your healing virtue. We ask that you bring your salvation, that hearts would be mended in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I lift up all of my sisters, even today that are here. I thank God for Debbie and Angie and Cece and Ashley. Father, may you continue to use us for your glory. And Father, may you get the glory. May everything we touch continue to prosper all in your name. All in in Jesus' name. name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. I love you so much, sis. We love, love you. you. We love you all. We love you. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thanks for joining us um, here at Generations. We love you so much. Be encouraged. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can we just go back to the simple kind of living? Can we just go back and maybe start from the beginning? Back to better days when love was for the given. Yeah, yeah, yeah.